I am a sommelier. You think I'm a mere bottle opener? You know nothing. A sommelier is a guide. I lead the customer through a labyrinth of daunting and perilous wine pairing decisions. But today is a new day. And as a sommelier, I must educate the customer. And so, I face my latest and greatest challenge. Le cork est mort. Viva le scoucap! Nice place, huh? Very romantic. And look at the great wines on this list. Ça va. This is a special night for us. So give me your very best. Of course. Bien sûr. <laughs> Alors, monsieur. I'm in a mood to splurge for a Chateau Neuf. All right, how about a uh, Chateau Neuf? Uh, Vinay, uh, 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 what? Et voilà, a bonnet d'un cigar volant. Exactly. I hope this is your very best. Of course. Bien sûr. If it's so good, how come it's got a screw cap? Well, I, I think I read somewhere, honey, that the screw cap has something to do with wine dorkiness. That is corkiness, monsieur. What the heck is corkiness? Corkiness is a tragic flaw in the wine caused by the cork itself. Mold sometimes grows on corks, producing a compound called Two, four, six, trichloroanisole, or TCA. What? Silence in class! Many experts believe four to seven percent of wines using cork are overtly tainted, sometimes making the wine smell musty or moldy, like old, wet newspapers. For example, imagine our chef, who is madly trying to make a soup du jour. He reaches for a twig from a jar of thyme. He stirs. He tastes. He reaches for a bay leaf. He stirs. He tastes. He reaches for a pinch of creme de tartare. And the idiot grabs a pinch of creme de terriere. He stirs. He tastes. Eh, mon dieu! Just like in cork tainted wine, it takes only a petit peu. To ruin the whole thing. Really? You don't honestly believe this guy. Ow! Silence, mademoiselle! This A can simply rub a wine of its true flavors without it seeming to be obviously flawed. It's like a movie whose soundtrack has been turned down. The bigger problem is the percentage of wines that are impacted by a slight or barely perceptible taint. Customers don't notice the flaw, they only notice that they don't enjoy the wine. Horrible. Horrible. Oui. Just the tiniest bit of TCA can affect the wine. But most of the wine I buy tastes okay. Okay is not good enough. A bottle of wine should be sublime. And sealed by a cork. Mademoiselle, the days of the cork are numbered. And why? Trans esterification. Look, many people believe that wines need oxygen to breathe while in the bottle, but it is nothing but a myth. 
once in a bottle, transesterification, that is the development of bottle bouquet, requires no oxygen. Because screw caps inhibit oxygen, they allow the wine to age more slowly, making it more interesting, graceful, and sexier as it grows older. <laughs> I'm sorry, trans whatever fication, TCA, wine corkiness. To tell you the truth, I don't really care. I want the pomp and pop that goes with the cork. Ah, mademoiselle, there's the rub. Allow me to show you how the opening of a school cap bottle can both be ceremonial and fun. Donc, we start again. Voila, a bonidun cigar volant. As we say, just hold your skirt and twist the bottle. Hold the skirt, twist the bottle. Hold the skirt, twist the bottle. Hold the skirt, twist the bottle. <sighs> now do you see why scoop caps are better for the wine than corks? Now I do. Mademoiselle? I do. I do. <laughs> la vérité, the truth is, school caps are better for the wine. And what is better for the wine is better for the customer. Today is a new day, a true revolution. Viva le school cap! Viva le school cap! My name is Randall Graham, and I approve this message. A votre santé. A votre santé! Older. 